Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Certain Certain. This ain't a smelly feet. As you guys can see, I've got some heat on. Got some heat to my right, on the left. And um, yeah, so today I'm going to be reviewing, I'm going to be doing a comparison on the recently released backed out Nike Air Hirachi. And I'm going to compare it with my 05 Ellie. LE pair so yeah man first of all the box is different this ain't the original box but it's basically the same thing as the original box but yeah so as you can see from the get-go actually before we get into anything it wouldn't be a pickup review without banana chips mm. What do you know about banana chips? No, yeah, yeah, no. But, okay, so. Quick Intel. I got Intel. I had no idea that these black type of arches were coming out. I saw that on various sneak websites that they were releasing on eBay, 9 a.m., 6 p.m. That, that seller and they were going for like 125 I was like nah man um, funny enough uh, one of my brother's friends he had them and I was like well hold on did you get them from eBay and two twos nah I found out that Foot Locker is just is given a general Foot Lock exclusive release so they were released near enough three weeks ago so they've already had restocks and from what I've heard from the employees inside Foot Locker they sold out within 15 minutes so I missed out big time but coincidentally evidently I don't drive a Bentley but it was just coincidence that I happened to find out yesterday that they came that that they, that they came out like three weeks ago, and I gave them a call like Foot Locker, and I said, "Yo, what's what's going on with the um what's happening with these Foot um Foot Locker Hirachi black blacked outs?" And they said, "You know what? They're gone, man. But call in tomorrow because we might get a, a second restock." So they've had a first restock that I missed out, and they were gonna get a second restock, and you know, I just got that, I got the magic, and called them up, you know, thank God I don't have uni today, on a Friday, and they restocked today at 11am, I'll go up at 12pm, know your 6, 8, know your 24 hour clocks, because that will get you nothing in the sneaky game, you might wake up at, what, 12am for a 12pm restock. You missed the trainer. So get to know your 24 hour clocks. Um, yeah man, I bought them. I didn't even think twice about getting them because... Okay, fair enough. Hirachi LEs or exclusives are like £80. They started off at 80 They went up to 85 Now these were like 95 I was like, what the f... But it's not about the price for me with these trainers. Especially this particular colorway. It's about the history behind it because I grew up with these trainers I didn't grow up with Jordans I, I didn't grow up with I don't know foam, foam pole sites I'm fairly new to like Jordans and foam pole sites fairly recent though um, but Hirachis I grew up with the ones with the strap the mids I grew up with Air Max 95s Air Max 97s so anything that recalls anything from my past especially these I, I don't think twice about getting them I did think twice because of the price, but I got hooked up with that discount. So two pairs for the price of one. Oh, I'm the shiz Nike, like Nikki said. No, oh, I don't get that. Nikki got that big booty. But okay, so let's get in. I'm only gonna do one, but I'll show you. I'll show you both of them actually. Right, so this is the original that's out pair from 2005. You know when that pal came out. More fire crew inside. I'm gonna come in. So, 
much he blacked out. For you guys who missed out, you know, I, I, I don't think it's your fault for missing out because there was no actual release date on this. There was no hype around them, but they're hyped because they went out quick time. You know, Joey Essex ain't even got a pair of these, boy. Because he was, he was probably in Vegas and no, I don't watch the episodes. But, what's going on with Joey and Sam? Um, but yeah man, so these these are going to be my beaters and these are going to be my heaters because I've got to keep warm, you know, it's getting cold now I wore shorts yesterday and it started raining and I wore my white true blues I was like, what the f... Anyways Alright, so I'm going to quick time show you the differences different, like two chains on the inside Okay, so from the get go, you can see that. Oh, yeah, um, I've got a size above my regular size because these fit super snug, the Harachi. So I'm usually a UK 9, I've got a UK 10, and you should be fine. But I'd recommend one size bigger than your usual because they do hog tight. Oh, yeah, right now, check out outfit of the day OOTD. Oh! Um, got them Harachi. 05, 35 pound from Foot Lock on sale. When every man wanted the Air Forces. And academics tracks you. Uh, okay, so I'm just lacing these. Sometimes the Harachi, the insole feels funky, man. I don't know what it is. Like, the insole moves about. I don't know if it's just you guys or me. I mean, me. But the ins insole moves about a bit. Though. Yo. When I saw these. When I saw these surface online, yeah, I was like, what? Man, but they feel crispy, man, they're crispy. Uh, let me actually show you. So this is the new pair, the new pair of Rachis. Got that. Got the infamous sock liner, you know, Tinker Hatfield. You know, he... He was like the the innovator. He was like, fuck Crocs. I don't want Crocs. I like socks. You know, got that nylon upper right there. New buck. Is that even suede? I think that's a new buck, you know. It doesn't feel like suede. And man, that logo, that logo is cheese. It's cheese, man. It's the double cheese when you get a burger. Man, the shoes, it, I don't know, it just brings up so many memories for me. Because I'd say St. Bond's, my secondary school time was probably one of the best moments. I mean, highlights of my education. And they just brought back so many memories, so many friends, you know. So that's the new one. <clears throat> the new Hirachi. These aren't even LEs, they're just Foot Lock exclusives. Not even LEs anymore. Because soon enough, JD Sports, Nike's gonna get them. Alright, so that's the new one. I'll put it on the side. On the left side. These are the old ones. These are the these are my grails. Grails! Um Yeah man. So Alright, I'm going to take a left pair from the old one, put this in a box, I don't know why I'm happy they ain't even eating man, let me get some light up in there, okay, oh shoot, alright, so, as you can see, this is the old one, because it's faded, poor up, Drank, faded, faded. And the bottom's pretty much the same. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. So on the bottom, man, you know what, yeah? Nike's starting to make. I feel that Nike makes so many shortcuts with with the with the making like making retros and stuff like that because they don't feel the same man. Like the the steel tens are coming out and they don't even look the same. As to what I remember, I'm, when I was in I was in Philippines on holiday when they first 
we retroed. And I remember getting, because I was planning on getting them, because they remind me of that holiday that I had. And they don't even look the same, like the leather. It just. Anyways, I'm going a bit off topic here. So, as you can see, the one on the top here is the 05 pair. So, straight away, you can see a few differences. The Nike Air. There's a Nike Air check right there, but it's not white, you know. So when you give someone that Liu Kang free hit combo with a foot, you know, they won't get that white print on their face. But, you know, the traction is pretty much the same. Um, and one of the biggest, 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 biggest differences that I've seen is the upper. So yeah, it's black, okay, they got everything right with the tone, but... Here, wait, let me try and move this camera. I'm um, recording with my new camera, by the way. You know, all right, so this is the new one. All right, the lace one is the new one, the unlaced one is the new one, the lace one is the old one. All right, so this right here is the old one, this is the new one. This is leather. Let me give you a closer look. You see that reflection? That was 25 pounds. Leather. And you got suede. Listen. Ooh. Ooh, I can't believe it's not butter. This is a new one. Nylon or synthetic upper, for lack of a better term. As you can see in the light. So side by side. You can already see the difference. And this is definitely not suede. That's like a new buck to me, man. So, the sock liner is the same, I guess. They didn't change the, the logo. By Nike, by Nike. Same thing, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. You know. And finally, on the inside, this one was made in Indonesia. And the print on the inside, this the new one, has just the Nike check. Old one, international pack sign. So, I don't, I'm not even disappointed. Let me give you guys actually a quick fit. So, I'm going to quickly put these on my feet, man. Because, oh shoot, beaters. Let me put this on the floor. So you can see. Alright, don't watch anything. So these are my. Let me just undo these quick time. So yeah, I feel that Nike are just taking some shortcuts when reproducing shoes because people there's a high volume and a high want rate for them. You know, people want them because they sell out quickly, and Nike just makes more money by not even giving the same quality. So taking shortcuts. And, you know, I, I can't blame them for because it's a business at the end of the day, but you know, we're, we're, we're loyal Nike fans. Like, Nike will never go out of style, I don't think. That's just my opinion, anyways. If they do go out of style, what's going to replace them? High tech. Don't even say Reebok because Reebok is just. Alright, so. This is a new one. This is a new pair. And straight from the back, there's already a difference in feel. I can already feel a difference. They just they just look like the Rachis. They don't feel like them. So. And I saw one guy walking in my uni with these. I was like, what? 
You didn't get these in 05, baby. And funnily enough, funnily enough, they sell them in Foot Locker. So I was lucky enough to get these because they sold out instantly. Because they haven't released for like what, near enough a decade now. And that's a quick look. Side view, you know, FKTV, shout out to you. You know, let me do that. What? You don't even know, baby. You don't even know. So for you guys out there, you want an on foot review. You got everything comparison, on foot review, banana chips. You know, we don't suck no dicks. Um let me do actually. So let me just wear the old one. Cause I can already feel a difference, yo. I can feel it in the air. Yeah man, how you guys been? My uni stress. Um, all right, so this is the old one. This is the new one. New one, old one. I'm just gonna wear it side by side. Ho, holy moly. So, I can already feel the difference because the firelight midsole does not feel the same. There's no fire in this light midsole. You know when you touch your girl's fire for you guys out there, to my fellas out there, when you touch your lady's fire, it's nice and soft. Unless your girl is like a twig, but I don't discriminate, you know. But yeah, the fire should be soft. It's not soft. And yeah. So here, right here, it seems like it's just one canvas. But on this one, like, there's so much more detail, like you can see the ridges on it. It just feels more comfortable, man. Like I'm wearing it now and it doesn't feel the same. This one's more cushiony. This one's just stiff. Yeah, and I haven't even broken into them yet, but still, man, like you should be able to feel it. With all my Harachis, my foot, it's, it's, it's my old Harachis, it feels like it's hugging my foot. This one is just like, you know. Clash of the Titans, 300 spawns. But yeah, man, that's it. That's what I've got for you guys, you know. Got to get you a quick video. Because I've been busy lately, man. You know, you know what it is. Alright, so. Um, all in all, I'm happy they came back. Because now I, I can keep the old ones for myself and... I can just use the new ones for beaters. But oh, this is the old one by the way. Let me all get mixed up. Listen. Let me take it off actually. Okay, so for you guys wanting to get in, to get them, I'm pretty sure they done they've they've done a restock now. So if you want to get them, hurry up and get them quickly because they're probably gonna be gone. So yeah, the new one's alright, man. Like, it's it's a bummer. It's not the same, you know. I'd like for it to be a bit of like the same quality level, leather and suede mesh together. But what can you do? And I'm trying to not try to not think of the price because they were ninety five pound. But fair enough, I got a discount on it, so it's alright. But it's still not twenty pound, you know. You can't rewind time, you know. Nike, they're doing their thing, man. They're they're bringing back. Retros like and these ones so the next Hirachi colorway I'm coming like there's so many Hirachi colorways out now It's ridiculous the, the abuse and the orange like there was a zebra print one. They look nice, but I Doubt I'd ever wear them man Even the size exclusives. I'm, I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking fuck that colorway man. They're not even size exclusive. They don't They look nice, but not on this trainer like the color schemes the color blocking is it they work they work, but just not on the trainer. Maybe on a Air Max One or an i5. With these, I think because they're so retro, because they symbolise an era. So I'll say the early '90s, because they symbolise that era. You can't, I don't know, reskin them. Just bring back the retros. And Full Lock is doing a good job of bringing back retros, but they're also, you know. It's always like I can't even find the words. 
the contradicting the work by making these shit colorways. Sorry, but that's just how I feel, man. I I, I ain't got, for lack of a better term, it's just it, it, the colorways in all that. Um, but one of the colorways I am looking forward to is that cool gray colorway, all gray. So this whole upper right here is just gray, and it's like suede. I saw it. I was like. It was like shit. It's like this kind of grey. Get my Jordan shorts. So like this kind of grey. Imagine that on this, but like suede or new buck. Whoo! Fire! Fire! And yoga fire. But yeah, man. So I hope you guys are good. If you guys want to cop these, go get them now. Um. Oh yeah, this is my new camera, by the way. It's a Panasonic HCV10. And yeah, let me know how the quality is. I was gonna get um, an SLR, but I thought, fuck that hype, you know? We're too beast for the hype, and I need a camera to record my basketball footage. So, I hope you guys are good. Have a good weekend. Peace, one love.